right, so hi, I am Miss Melanie and I teach the advanced nail course at AIB. And so we are doing an acrylic, an acrylic encapsulation today. Um, now we're starting out with a color block. So this was done ahead of time with the acrylic. So we're starting out with a color block and then we're gonna encapsulate the rest. So we start out with, we're gonna grab our clear because we have to have something for the encapsulation to stick to. So I'm just gonna go into the clear and just kind of just add like a real thin layer and just get in there and just, you know, give it a little something to stick to. All right, then I'm going to start picking up my leaves. So let's kind of put those down the center. I'm gonna add a little more just to give it a little more to stick to. All right. Goes around a little bit. Then we're gonna we're gonna go in and just take our raw glitter and just kind of fill in, fill in the gaps a little bit with that. I'm gonna add just a little more acrylic so then we can put a little more glitter there. All right. Okay, a little more right there, and then after that, we're gonna encapsulate it. So it's kind of kind of keep it sparse. We don't want it too heavy with the glitter because then it takes away from the uh, leaves themselves. All right, so now we're gonna encapsulate that. So of course, now we're gonna add the clear. So of course, I'm gonna go in because I gotta level it out because this is a little higher because of the color block. So I'm gonna go in here, drain out that bead just a little bit to add that right here and just kind of start even and start making that even. All right, and just start encapsulating that. Trying to keep it off the sides and then we'll go down the rest. So now that that's kind of even, we'll go in and add a little more. All right, making sure we have enough at our ends so that way there's no, those encapsulations stay in there. We're not filing it off when we go to file. All right, so. Okay, and then sometimes we can go back and use our clear to add structure as well, right? So we can use our clear and make add a little apex to that. All right, add a little structure to it. Get that off there. Got a little glitter up in there. All right, and then I'm just gonna add a little more here and that should be it. All right, and that is our, getting rid of that piece of glitter. And so that is our acrylic encapsulation with a color block. Very nice. Can you do, can you, uh, can you show it again? That pesky piece of glitter <laughs> in, that, in the way there. Let's 
gonna add just a little more in there just to make sure. All right, it's gone. It's gone. Right. <laughs> that was really perfect. And that's it. So it's fall-esque. All right. Now, Miss Melanie, what else can you do with encapsulations? Like, what all does that? Um, you can encapsulate over a clear tip. Um, you can encapsulate, you can do a reverse French with acrylic and encapsulate with that. Um, you can, um, you know, you encapsulate an ombre. So um, you can do an ombre background and then put the, um, and then put the uh, encapsulation, you can put a little clear on that, just like I did, that thin layer of clear to make it stick. So you can do the ombre, put a little thin layer of clear over that. Or if it's wet enough, if the ombre is still wet enough, you can encapsulate on top of that too and just have the ombre as the background. Awesome. And you can also encapsulate with builder gel. Okay. So if you're doing builder gel, you can encapsulate that and poly gel as well. Yep, so you can encapsulate anything. Fantastic. All right. Can we have you hold that up just for a last final? Mm -hmm. Let's see that a little bit closer. Fantastic. Got some fall leaves going on in there, some glitter. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Miss Melanie. You're welcome.